Hello friends. Now let us learn about the concept of other comprehensive income OCI. OCI or other comprehensive income. We have already seen that whenever you prepare a statement of profit or loss under index that statement of profit or loss will have two sections. One is the normal profit or loss that we call as the profit or loss for the period and also it will have a separate section called other comprehensive income or OCI and the total of this profit or loss for the period and other comprehensive income will give you the total comprehensive income for the period total comprehensive income this is how you report the statement of profit or loss in your interest <laughs> now if you see the parent standard that is IFRS IFRS gives an alternative or an option to the presenters to present both p and and OCI, the profit or loss for the period and OCI as separate statements. Okay, so this is option one in IFRS. Okay, you can either present the profit or loss for the period and OCI as separate statements. Whereas, there is one more option in IFRS which asks you to present it as one single statement. Single SOPL but this will have two segments in single this one first segment will be your profit or loss and the second segment will be OCI <laughs> okay so you have two options whereas when you come to I in days in in days as a matter of carve outs they have removed this first option this option not there in in days not in in days so as per in days the statement of profit or loss account should be presented as a single statement and within that single statement you should have two sections the first section profit or loss for the period for the period and you should also present the other comprehensive income and the total of this will be the total comprehensive income okay that is with respect to OCI now the crucial question is what do you mean by OCI or what all are the things that needs to be included in other comprehensive income the standard says that other comprehensive income includes includes what all things it includes it includes expenses expenses and income expenses and incomes that cannot be cannot be classified under profit or loss for the period <laughs> okay so OCI refers to those expenses as well as incomes it could be an expense or an income which cannot be classified under profit or loss for the period okay you can't take it under profit or loss for the period why because specific specific in does, does not permit so does not permit so okay so if you see the standards the in standards in some standards they say that okay this particular expense or this particular income you can take it to the profit or loss for the period rather it has to be considered as a part of other comprehensive income so such items it could be an expense or an income such items that cannot be taken to the profit or loss for the period are what is referred as OCI or other comprehensive income so there is no specific definition for other comprehensive income the standard says that you have to go through the entire India standards and whichever stands standard tells you okay this particular item whether it is an expense or income you can't take it to the profit or loss for the period you can't take it under the first segment rather you should consider only as OCI such items which are required by the respective standards have to be taken under OCI that is the meaning of other comprehensive income friends I hope that is very clear to you this is one area I have seen most of the students having confusion okay students get confused what is the meaning of this OCI what is this OCI what is the meaning of this OCI OCI is nothing 
but some selected or specified items of expenses or incomes which are specified by various India standards okay that it cannot be taken to the profit or loss for the period rather it should be shown separately under other comprehensive income such items which does not permit you to take it directly to the profit or loss for the period are known as other comprehensive income and the other comprehensive income plus your profit or loss for the period together or total is what is known as total comprehensive income so total comprehensive income comprehensive income friends i hope this is clear to everyone it's very important uh, oci the concept of oci because when we come to the specific standards we will be coming across certain items especially when we talk about uh, the uh, provision for gratuity okay there will be remeasurement of actuarial gains the remeasurement of actuarial gains is one item which you cannot take to your normal profit or loss account rather it has to be talk, taken as oci and this actuarial valuation is something which is very common in almost all the companies wherever there are employees okay so whenever you do an index uh, financial statement so whenever you prepare an index financial statements this oci is uh, supposed to be here okay supposed to be there so you need to have a better idea about the meaning of the term oci and what is its relevance in preparing the statement of profit or loss account i hope this is clear to you thank you